What is up, everybody? For today's game, I'm going to be playing as Camille in the top lane versus a. Whoa, it's a Shaco top lane. I thought it was going to be Twitch top. Okay, okay, that actually is pretty interesting. Um, okay, so it is Camille versus Shaco, and hey, I finally got to pick Camille. This is going to be my first time playing Camille in ranked, and you know, I'm pretty excited. Even though last time I got to play Camille, I got absolutely stumped, and it was basically because I got camped and I was against a new rally. It was a nightmare. Um, but you know, I, I finally got to try out how Camille worked and stuff like that, and I still want to say I'm very good with her, but I would say I, f I actually do understand how you're supposed to play her, a little bit at least. Um... I mean, I could get a little bit better. I could have done more practice. But the thing is, it's really hard to get your hands on Camille. Like, she really is getting banned all the time. This is one of those very few and rare games where Camille was not banned at all. And I was really surprised because I was the first pick, right? And I was like, I really hope nobody bans Camille. But I wasn't expecting it. And hey, it finally happened. So I finally get to show you guys. Um, okay, so I've seen that people do somewhat different starts some people go for the Doran's blade start and some people go for the corrupting potion um because i'm against shaco i think i'm just gonna go for the Doran's blade so i have like more lifesteal to get it with my um with my already built-in lifesteal from the masteries twitch will gank mid and top level to 100 percent yeah that's what they usually do so yeah the idea against twitch is to use play very far back so that you know when twitch goes for like the almost 100 percent kill uh like you're not in a terrible range or whatever so okay let's talk about the new champion camille a little bit so a lot of people have gone to the consensus that camille is overpowered right now like she's apparently broken i mean i do understand why she's like really strong but i wouldn't say she's completely broken um, okay, so let's get into explanation. I'm gonna start with the W spell. So the W is basically a cone spell, as you can see from the targeting reticle. It's a cone spell that deals damage in the front part of the cone, like the outer part. Uh, if you hit with it, it actually it does extra physical damage equal to percentage maximum health, and this also heals Camille for the damage done. And uh, so basically, it's a damage and a self heal if you hit with the outer part. And I mean, extra damage percentage. Oh my god, what's the word again? Physical health percentage based damage. Yes, if you hit with the outer part. If it's only hits like the up close part, it's only a little bit of damage. As you can see, it's only like 75 damage, which is not too bad, I guess. But you know, you you would expect a little bit more. So it would be something like this. Mm. And also, when you hit it, it also lands a slow, right? And this this slow can be pretty sick because. Basically, it allows you to catch up to people. It allows you to just, you know, not be reliant on Frozen Mallet for the early parts of the game. Uh, but I do believe that most Camilles do build Frozen Mallet, so here we go. It's not that hard to land with, like, the outer part either. So, like, it's actually pretty cool. Wow, I used to let that freaking trap box hit me for so much. Um, he's trying to wait out a little bit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot, I forgot. This is, this is a Twitch jungle game. I have to be really careful. I have to actually play really far back. I don't know if it would actually be correct to start with E now. Oh, okay, Twitch is bot. Okay, never mind then. No need to start E then. Go ahead and hit this. Mmm, hit him with the W. Used to get heal as well. God damn it, trap boxes. Okay. Oh, man. I'm actually not having good timing right now. The Q is also an interesting spell on Camille. It's actually pretty unique. Or, well, I guess it's not that unique. It's basically an on-hit modifier so that um, makes your next auto attack deal extra damage. And it does do... Hang on, I'm going to have to read it to actually be able to make sure that I'm not like sharing wrong information. Okay, let's put a point to the E. Let's see what the Q does. Basically, the next attack does a little bit of physical damage and also increases my movement speed for one second. So it's not that great of a movement speed boost. And then you can use this... A spell um, at least 1.5 seconds after using the Q once you have a chance to get an even stronger uh, bonus uh, on head effect which may makes your auto attack have a percentage of the damage normally done as true damage so this kind of makes it so that if people are building you know armor against Camille oh my god I thought I pressed W there this makes it that people who maybe built armor against Camille like she doesn't fall off as bad because a part of her auto attack gets turned to true damage which is awesome right um 
Uh oh, nice. We actually got a kill on Twitch. I thought that was us dying, but it wasn't. Okay, anyways, um, I'm gonna try and stop trying to explain the spells because I have been kind of losing my lane a little bit here. Uh, move away from this thing. Oh, hang on. Hit that. Hit this. Oh, and that's the E spell by the way. Wait, he actually had a trapter? When did he place that? I did not notice that. Wow. That's actually kind of bad. Whatever. I, I haven't actually played against much Shaco toppling, so this is also like a learning experience for me. Um, Shaco has been a little bit... Um, what could he say? He, he's been a little bit different in this season just because of how they changed him with like his ultimate and stuff like that. I really feel like this is the biggest bait. I'm just gonna let the minions do the work. Yeah, screw you, Shaco. I'm just gonna keep putting points into my Q. Holy crap. I'm like going back to full health already from like the built in lifesteal from Masteries and um, the Doors of Blade. This is awesome. Okay, anyways, let's just go back to base. Oh! Shaco, no TP. And I believe the first item that you go for on Camille is simply. um. Uh, the parts for Trinity Force, so in this case, Phage, because I can't really afford a sh Sheen on first back. If something happens, I'm ready with my teleport, of course. I, I really think Camille's ultimate is pretty interesting. It kind of reminds me of, like, a Jarvan ultimate, but only for one person, right? Like, it's actually pretty cool. The E spell is also somewhat confusing. It, it kind of reminds me of a hook, except that you can only hook yourself, right? So it's kind of like a Nautilus hook, but you can't hit people with it. Only on the second jump, which is like uh, once you're reaching your destination with the hook, uh, you can actually knock people back and you stun them for a few seconds. And it was really confusing for me in the beginning because I thought you could hook onto people, right? So that you, I could, like, it was basically not a loss hook, but it turns out it wasn't. So I was like, I kept shooting my E on people, and I was like, wait a minute, why is nothing happening, right? I was like, oh, it only works on terrain. Okay, then. Um, but yeah, there is a portion that does affect players, but it's only the second portion of the spell. So I was really confused for the longest time. Top lane is missing. Um, okay, so now I got my ultimate, though. The thing about the ultimate is that, it, hang on, it does deal, like, it does allow you to do more damage. When I first read it, I was like, wait a minute, how how come this doesn't have, like, any, like, uh, damage modifiers, right? Like, how come I, there's this is an ultimate that doesn't help me do damage? But then I read it again, and I noticed that, you know, there's a part here. I'm going to read it out loud. Um, her basic attacks against a trapped enemy deals bonus magical damage equal to 5 plus 4% of the, their current health. So basically, the higher target, the higher health a target is, the more health they lose while trapped inside of Camille's ultimate, which is basically a, a single person Jarvan ult, which is like really interesting because I think this is, this is definitely, it's not a unique mechanism in the game. It it is somewhat unique, I guess, in the sense that you know, it's it's kind of like, can can people flash out of this? Oh, they cannot escape by any means. So even if Shaco got trapped, he would actually be pretty scared though. Okay, hang on. <gasps> okay. I'm good, I'm good. No, the Shaco clone. Alright. That's it. Okay. That's Shaco's ultimate out of the way, at least. Yep. Just gotta deal with this bullshit. Uh, let's go ahead and get this minion. Got it. Got this one. Top lane. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I did not mean to press that. Top lane is missing. Okay, he's there. Somebody's trying to farm it out. Trying to not do anything too crazy. If I was a more confident player, like this is literally my second game of Camille, guys. Like, I really, really have no idea how you're supposed to win lane because not only have I played versus very little Camille, I have not played Camille at all, really. If you, if you count last game where I got stomped and camped, okay, but I really haven't gone to test her like to her fullest. Like, I don't know what it's like to be fed Camille or Camille that's behind. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, come on. Okay, she, he can't escape from this. Oh no! Oh no, I messed up! So badly! So bad at this champion, dude. Oh my god. Of course, the W wasn't gonna be too good there because I was like, I was all in his face, right? So I couldn't get him with the, the outer part of the W, which is the part that does the most damage and also heals you. And I didn't get heal at all because I, was, I only hit him with the front part. God damn it, that sucks. Oh well, I got my Sheen now at least. Oh, that was my bad too because 
He has ignite, right? I don't think you're supposed to try and fight someone one v one when they have ignite, especially. Yeah, that was my bad. That was my bad. I would completely underestimated the shake off. Holy crap! What is going on here? Is he gonna live this? Oh, shield! Last second. Nice. Good job, team. So even if I do too terribly here, um, my team might actually help me carry this. I am winning in farm against the uh, Chico, which is great. And he does run ignite, so I guess it kind of makes sense why he would win a one v one right now at least. Um, he's just unfair, man. <laughs> let's just call it, let's just call it that. He's just an unfair champion right now for one v one. I mean, it feels like he's just built to kind of like be able to deal with my my stuff right now. I guess it, it makes sense why Shaco was picked then. I wouldn't say he's strictly a uh, what's it called a counter pick. All you have to do is farm against him, really, and eventually you just outscale him. But right now, I I just want to show, you know, like maybe Shaco doesn't want to. Wow, he really is trying to trap me with just that. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Holy, I already got him to half health. I was barely trying. <laughs> okay. Okay, the, the minions are gonna trigger the trap box, so I don't have to do it myself. Mm. It's gonna be an AP Shaco, so eventually just going for medic resistance is gonna be pretty decent. It does seem like we got the dragon though, so good job on Elise. Okay, top side is missing, pinging that out. Let's just go back to farming. I I really think it sucks that the enemy player picked Chico. I felt like maybe a, any other like standard top lane champion that could have showed off a little bit more what C Camille is capable of doing, right? Um. Uh oh, what's this? Shutdowns. Oh, oh, nice! I got that one in time. Oh no, I missed that one. Nice. <laughs> it's actually pretty satisfying to like last it with the Q. Top loon is missing. Oh! Oh, I only hit with the front part of the W again. So I didn't get the the nice little uh, self heal bonus. This passive of Camille is actually not that great against someone like Shiko. It feels like it's not up enough. I'm just gonna go back, make sure I get healed up and get the Fage. It's not a very powerful back, but it's better than just uh, staying in lane, hoping that, you know, Shaco's gonna show, which he's not. Okay, let's just teleport to this minion to be annoying. Auto attack with this. Okay, got two auto attacks really quickly. Okay, that's those interrupted by the trap box. Mmm, okay, he's going a little bit aggressive there. I'm pretty sure this is the real one. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Okay, he's he's still here. Oh my god, what's with all these trap boxes? What the hell? What? Okay, I'm a little bit confused there because that fear felt like it lasted forever. Oh yeah, that's right. When he if he upgrades the trap boxes first, um, they get a stronger fear, right? The duration lasts even longer. Oh my god, I thought I could just you know I could steamroll the trap boxes, but apparently, wow. I, it really felt like I was too long stuck in that animation where you're feared away. Uh, yeah, that's right. I mean, like I said, I'm not that used to playing against the Shaco, and I guess it's very apparent in this game right now. Completely underestimating him, thinking I got him caught, but yeah, the fear killed me, including the fact that he's building AP, which means that his boxes actually do a decent amount of damage. Oh my god, that was so annoying. Oh well, I don't really think he's gonna be doing too great in team fights though, which is which I guess is good. But the fact that I just gave him two kills, or in situations where I felt like you know I should not have taken a fight, makes me feel pretty dumb though. So yeah, that kind of sucks, but whatever. I guess that's just one of the problems with dealing with a Shaco. He's have to learn from this and move move on. Uh, get this. Holy crap, why does it focus me? <laughs> Man. That minion. Hit this. Q there. Let's get another point to Q. Okay, so now my Q is maxed out. So now I'm like maximum efficiency, you could say, with the Q. Mm, do I... I? I don't think I should stay top lane at all. Like, it's been pretty obvious that, like, trying to fight Chico has been pretty fruitless like I'm probably better off he's going to other lanes and Rome at this point Jesus Christ the fire touch from Shago really kept me from recalling 
He's got a <laughs> Hextig Proto Belt now, that kind of sucks. Let's go ahead and get a dagger. And should I use Rome? I mean, there's still two minutes left on my teleport, so I guess I should just go back to lane. I mean, if he's going to freeze the lane like this, I guess I should just go to middle and see what I can do. And this is the thing, right? When you know you cannot win your lane, it's better. You're better. Wow, dude. He even got rooted. No way. Oh, man. He's probably just going to die there then. Or, yeah, he is. Wow. If, if at least actually landed that rooted uh, cocoon, that would have been, you know, without having the tower die. But eh, whatever. Shit happens, I guess. Was waiting for you to tank, dude. <laughs> oh shit, he's actually trying to take out my turret. He d he's not really dealing that much damage to it though. I'm just gonna have to intervene no matter what here. Oh my god, I messed up again. What the hell? How tanky is he? No, this is the real one then. Okay, so I was doing damage to the real one. Oh my god, dude! This is not fair, dude! Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god, of course I get jungle mother trucker in my lane too. Uh, you know what? This actually reminds me of my last game with Camille. But, uh, I mean, at one point I did get a kill on the Aurelia because she did a mistake tower diving me. I just ulted her. But, against this bullshit, this is just bullshit. Kind of felt like I was kind of bit, a, a little bit ditched in this lane to be fair. But, um, I mean, what could Elise really have done if she went top lane? I think this really ultimately comes to me not playing safe, like, the whole lane. I, I kind of felt like I was a little bit pressured to do something, you know, to try and kill the Shaco if I could. But, um, it appears I do not have the means to do so. And, um, yeah, I decided to take him on at a time when he had Ignite, which caused the first death. Second death, completely underestimated the fact that, you know, the boxes of Shaco do get increased fear the more he levels them up. So by the time I... Went onto a box when I thought I had him killed. I was feared for like forever. And not only that, they dealt a ton of damage. So that really sucked. And now it's just unfairness galore. Ah, <sighs> man. So much for playing Camille, man. But it does seem like my team is doing well. All things considered. It's just Shake was a bitch. Champion. <laughs> I mean, congrats to the player. He does seem to be beating me right now. But, um... I'm pretty pretty sure I outscaled him, outscale him eventually, like pretty hard. Okay, so I'm I'm just gonna keep pushing top lane to force Jago to come here. Really, really don't want him to mess with my team too much. Yeah, I know he's on the way. I, I'm pretty sure Shago can't kill me just because I have the hook. Shago top, no mana, no mana, Shago, you can push. What the hell, man? Uh, I don't know if I want to push now that I don't know where like Twitch is. So I'm just gonna go back to base. Yeah, there's the teleport from Shaco. My teleport is up though, so this is the moment where I can actually do something. I think. Let's just get the train to force. Okay, got my first item built out finally. Um, so where do I go from here? I do believe this is gonna be a Merc Tres game though, just because of Shaco's trap boxes. That fear is like un unhealthily too long. Oh. Wow, okay, do I teleport here? I'm guessing the jungler's bot side if he's doing that. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, nice, oh, nice, oh, nice, oh, nice, nice, nice. Wow, this teleport took forever, though. Okay, I'm gonna trap this Orianna so that she can't, like, do too much here. <gasps> wow, okay. Oh, no, oh, wait, that still worked. Oh, nice, all right, all right. Did something, did something. Awesome, okay, so someone's gonna t uh, defend the top side. I mean... I already wanted bot to kind of like back them up here, so I hope someone goes topside. Elise is doing it. All right, let's go ahead and take this tower. Nice though, three for one, totally worth it. Finally, I feel a little bit useful here. Okay, but yeah, you could kind of see the power of uh, Camille there. The ultimate, just you know, stopping Oriana from even going further. That can be pretty powerful in the right moments. Wow. Okay, this is not going as planned. What? How did this minion not take damage? Alright. Just go back to base, get Merc Treads, I guess? Or should I go for like the Tiamat? I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Merc Treads. I used to go Merc Treads. I don't, I don't want to play too crazy anymore. Oh my god. Ryze is like running for his life here. <laughs> uh, which is the real one? Oh, that's the real one. Okay. 
<laughs> I don't think they're being chased anymore, but alright. Anyways, how's the game going? Rice is 315, Caitlyn is 444, Braum is doing pretty well with his 107, and at least 322. So basically, I'm the dead weight in the team right now, although I do feel like I did something last time with my teleport, so I'm not completely dead weight. I just wish I had gotten more out of uh, my teleport, like, you know, more than just one assist. Or no, one kill, I mean. Let's go ahead and ward over the wall here. Oh, that was Lucian, he was pretty low. Kind of tempted to use E in here. Uh, where's everyone? Oh, what? Okay, they were dealing with Chico. Well, at least he's dead now. I also need to remember how long the range of the E is. I feel like that's pretty important if you're gonna try and kill somebody. <laughs> Do we use push middle then? Oh wait, there's no tower here. We should just go get the dragon, yes? Um, put a ward here. Get rid of this. Alright, we're doing it, we're doing it. Two people are middle. This is our dragon. Nice. Nice. All dragon for us, please. I also need to get used to, like, waiting for the second part of the queue when it becomes, you know, true damage. I feel like I'm pressing the queue far too early. Can we catch her? Oh, we can! Oh! Oh, everyone got hit by this crap. Hit it with the slow. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Nice. Yes. Holy shit. I don't even know what I'm doing, but it looks good. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. I think th the one odd part about Camille's kit is definitely the W. It, d it doesn't really feel like it fits too well with what she does. I'm gonna chase this guy. Oh wait, that was not necessary. Slowed. <gasps> okay, he's gotta get out of the uh, the freaking the things range, <laughs> but I couldn't manage it in time. Oh yeah, I should be auto attacking the tower here. Go 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 go! Got it. Nice. The Trinity Force really does fit so well with Camille because of her Q, right? The Q is on such a low cooldown. And I believe it also works on the second proc of the Q, right? Or the second Q activation with the Sheen. That would make a lot of sense if it did. I mean, the Sheen's cooldown is what? 1.5 seconds. And this, for the second proc to wait for it, is exactly 1.5 seconds. It's almost like it was built exactly for Sheen. Holy. Um, okay, okay, okay. What should I build next? I believe people go for... Titanic Hydra right now. It was Ravenous Hydra for a while, but people are actually doing Titanic Hydra, so let's just go ahead and do this. Yes. It, it kind of makes sense, because um, Camille's, the, the passive shield, it actually scales based on Camille's total health. So, yeah. Building, um... Building, what's it called? Building health on Camille is not completely useless. So it's actually pretty interesting. She's, like, I guess you could kind of say she's a little bit like Fiora, you know? Like, even though she does do a lot of damage, it's not completely stupid to build health on you because, um, I mean, it makes sense for a champion that is so much in your face, right? But in this case, Camille actually does scale, literally, with health, thanks to her passive, which is pretty ridiculous. Oh, no, wait. Fighting? Oh, no, I was not there, though. Oh, man. <laughs> Come to me. Okay, at least they're not close to Baron, so they're not going to be able to get that. That's good. This Tiamat is gonna make pushing lanes so much easier. Look at this. Mm. Alright, do I just go bot lane? I thought this was over. I think I think I'm just gonna teleport this to control ward here. Alright. Oh! Oh, nice. Got her killed. I should just ult this guy. I should be able to 1v1 him now, right? Or not. He got away, I guess. Oh, wait, he's here. He's trapped now. He can't get out of my ring. Oh, no. I wasted. Yes, we got him. Nice. That ultimate is pretty ridiculous, though. It, it's like so much utility for a champion that is already dealing so much damage. And it does add even more damage, right, to the target that's being hit by that. Hmm. You know what? I think... I think... Cam Camille's kit is a little bit overloaded. <laughs> it has a little bit too much good things everywhere. Um, let's go for the Jar Rim's Fist. Yes, been a while I bought this item. Mm, I'm level 13. Wow, I went from 0-3 to 3-3-3. Three, three, three. 
That's a small comeback, I would say. Farm isn't exactly bad either compared to Shaco. It's kind of like I predicted it, you know? Like, I feel I felt like Shaco wasn't going to do too much in teamfights compared to me. I'm, like, actually doing pretty decently. But I feel like I'm not using all of my spells properly yet. Alright. But yeah, I can see why people are calling Camille OP. This is actually the first time I'm seeing Camille being played slightly decent by me. Last game I played Camille, I felt like I was kind of being useless. I was like, oh, maybe Camille isn't that broken then. But this game, it's like as soon as you get trained to force, as soon as you get some points into your spells, you really do a lot. Oh, and of course, let's not forget the Merc Treads. To be able to move fast and not get stopped too much by spells. I mean, they have Barge Stun, they have... Uh, the freaking Shaco fear that lasts forever, like Mertrez is really important here. Oh no, what is going on here? Okay, she's fine. Mm, teleport is ready in two minutes almost. I should just go top side and farm. I I do have teleport. I need to ping it out so that I mean I don't have teleport and I need to ping it out for my team. Oh wow, what's going on here? Wow, Bart actually bought him some time with that. No way, they're actually... Oh, they died. Okay. Um. Okay then. Not sure if I should have stayed topside, but I feel like neglecting bot side completely is not exactly good here. I feel like our mid lane should be moving to bot right now. Oh, they're like too interested in getting Orion, I guess. Oh shit! Oh, kill the Twitch! Oh no, there's no wall to jump to. Okay, got the Orianna. I'm gonna have to go back to base and just buy the t Titanic Hydra and try to do something about bot side. Come on, come on, Titanic Hydra! I need you. Um, next item. Oh wait, wait. I'll I'll just go for uh, what's it called? The Sterex. Come on, why am I so slow? I feel like I should be moving faster. Or wait, Denman's played. Is Denman's played decent on this champion? I think it would be. You do a lot of chasing. Let me use the portal. Yes. Oh, it was actually a pretty short one. Oh. Whoa. No. Okay, let's just get the dragon in. Wait. Oh, at least it's topside. That's kind of shitty. Okay, at least managed to 1v1 the Shaco. Nice. I can admire that. Okay, so that's two green dragons. Hopefully, Elise is gonna heal up decently now. Mm. Do we just go for Baron, actually? We could. I think we could do it right now. It's a little bit strange that, like, Braum is solo farming bot side, but whatever. What the hell did you do to my box? <laughs> did he smite her or something? Oh my god, there's a ward here. Nobody got rid of it first. Okay, let's go ahead. Wow, 500 true damage with the second part of the Q. Oh, 96% of the attack becomes true damage. Wow, that's actually a huge conversion now that I think about it. Holy crap. Dude, Camille is like so good. <laughs> wow, I only used to realize how strong the, the second part of this Q is. You do have to wait 1.5 seconds, but I mean, most fights do last a little bit longer than 1.5 seconds, so you're gonna have the chance to use it, right? Oh, I'm gonna ult her so that she doesn't get away. And I also don't get hit by her, by her ultimate doing that. Nice. Holy crap, she got deleted. Whoa, what is this? No. Bullshit. No! Oh my god, I really wanted to kill the bard. Oh shit, we were so greedy there. That was really stupid. Nice, we got Twitch killed at least, that's not too bad. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's the Shaco, I think this is the real one, right? Because he popped out of nowhere. So that means he went in with Q. Yeah, that's a clone. Okay, this is the real one. Wait, what is... Why did Caitlyn go back? It's the time to fight Caitlyn, not to farm. Oh, she, he dead. Nice, 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 nice. Ace. Wow. You know what? Even though I got a little bit toyed around in this game in topside. Oh, well, wait, wait, wait. I don't think Star X gauge is with that, right? It's with this. Even though I got toyed around in topside, um, I think it just came down more to inexperience with like how Shaco works. 
and um, just no, not expecting, not knowing what to expect against the Chico in, in the solo lane. This is actually my first time ever experiencing like solo lane Chico, unless you count middle. But in middle, at least you're playing a range champion, so you don't usually have to, you know, um, walk into boxes to um, kill the Shaco, so yeah, I would kind of use that as my defense because I felt like a real fool when I walked into Shaco and I realized that, you know, the fear timer was almost like two seconds long and that was enough for him to kill me. I was like, oh god damn it, I should never have walked into him like that. Can I kill him now though? Like, have I gotten that much better? Okay, I'm just gonna ult him now. Wow, how long is this? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm not sure if he got hit by the crap there. Oh, mm. oh, what? Oh my god, this Rai is taking all the glory from me. Whatever. It's whatever. At least he got killed. That's what matters. Oh my god, Rai is really taking all my minions. This is so not cool. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh wait, he had the, the share gold item. Okay. You're excused, bro. Look at this. Um, how much do you need for this? 1050, so I only need like 250 or 230 to be exact. Um, what attack? Oh, come on. I was hoping that would be the right timing to get all the minis. Anyways, only 40 gold away from getting the Sterex. Once I get Sterex, like, I should be pretty hard to kill. Like, almost impossible to kill, pretty much. Nice. Okay, I got the last part of my ultimate. I wonder what that does. Like, what does it really do? 8% of their current health. Wow, I freaking hate this Shaco, dude. He canceled my t my recall. I mean, this was a pretty lazy recall, but I really didn't think he would bother with that. <laughs> freaking using Protobelt to wave clear. God damn, these troll champions. Oh, wow, he even got a Strahd portal. That item build is only with like being annoying in mind not necessarily being like the strongest possible mm. I should move my titanic hydra to the right slot I've been missing the press a few times just because I thought it was on, uh, on the, the second slot but it was actually in the third slot the whole time I, I really should be going bottling though I do have teleport I'm gonna ping it out Oh shit. Oh no, do I need to? No, okay. A fight didn't break out. Alright, let's just fix this then. Well, the team is like trying to chill in middle. Wow, look at all that. Whoa, 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 fighting? Fighting? No, there's nothing to teleport to. Nothing decent at least. Oh man, I missed out on a team fight. I mean, my, my team still won it, which is great, but. Damn it. All the chance for glory, gone. Oh no, look, Brom is dying. Guys, help him. Oh wow, that was actually a decent flash. I'm just standing still here watching the fight. Gotta do something. Oh no, I triggered my Q too late. Okay, they're just gonna take the middle tower. In the meantime, I'm just pushing bot side, getting myself to farms, getting a little bit further ahead. Nice. Do you need me yet? I'm like I'm I'm reaching the inhibitor tower. Or rather the inhibitor. There's no tower left. Okay, fire dragon. Let's take that thing for ourselves. Holy crap, we actually got in all the dragons. Wow, Shaco went the FK. <laughs> uh well what can I say? There's a saying which is like the one who laughs best is the one who laughs last. Is that how it goes? I know how it is in Sweden, in Swedish, right? But I'm not sure if it's exactly the same in English. Oh, look, there he is. It's the real one. Oh no, it's not the real one. <laughs> God damn it! I got hustled. Um. Okay, let's go killing because I, I have like 1,300, which is barely enough for anything new. Nice hit. Oh, dude. Oh my god, the damage here. Okay. I'm kind of going into my own little world here, dealing with the Oriana. Wow. Okay. My team dealt with the rest, just no problem almost. Two for four. You know, four versus four. 
I'd say that's cool. Nice. I, I swear to God, I am button mashing most of the time, but I am trying to put like more into mind like how this Q works. I'll have to say though, the second part of this E is ridiculous. Like, has ridiculous amounts of range. Sh in Shaco Int Troll. Report Shaco. Everyone seems to be very like uh, set on trying to report this Shaco. I didn't really feel like he was trolling this game though, but he was like solo pushing a lane for a while, so I guess that's what they mean. Anyways, finally, my first ranked Camille game. I'm so glad I managed to record it. I mean, it was kind of a sad start, but let's not lie here. I kind of brought it back in the end. Um, Okay, let's see here. Wait. Oh, here we go. A plus rank. That's not too bad. Could have been, could have been worse. Yeah. I'm actually pretty surprised I got A plus. I guess it was because of all the farm I was hogging for myself in the end. 16k damage. I guess that's not a lot to say. Um, it is more than the support at least, and it is more than Oriana in the middle. Ah, uh, wow. Bard actually almost did as much damage as me. That's pretty crazy. And Chico, of course, did pretty well. Okay. Anyways, that was my Camille game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And of course, uh, if you did like this video, it would be nice to give it a like. If you're the first time watching one of these, you can always subscribe to me because I'm always trying to upload a new ranked game daily. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you guys for next time. This has been Misty Boxers.